Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I got my first sponsorship. So this is my first sponsored video and I'm really excited. Before I, this happened, um, I was curious, just like everybody else, how do you get sponsorships? How do you reach out to companies? How do they find you? Do they even know you exist? Those kind of things. So basically the answer is start with who's around you, who you know. You never know what kind of connections you have already established. I got in touch with Julian's Cosmetics through my boyfriend. He was working with the company and that was my way in. So you guys need to just take inventory of who you know and what they do. You just never know. And you should be reaching out to small companies anyway. Julian's Cosmetics is a small boutique style cosmetic store and spa. So when you reach out to these small companies, they're kind of like mom and pop kind of shops. Little companies that they're not 50 people between the sales associate and the CEO. You know what I mean? You might be able to walk in on any day and meet the owner of the company. Those are the kind of companies you should be targeting. not household brand name companies, at least at first. So basically the types of companies you should be reaching out to are your local bakeries, your local hardware store, your local cosmetic store. Um, and I don't mean the big brock, the big brand stores. I mean a small little boutique that, brand, companies that are one of one basically. I mean they might maybe have another location in another state or maybe in another city but chances are if they only have the one location they're a small company startup companies people who are looking to get their names out there and they're not that well known they're wanting to work with you as much as you're wanting to work with them because they need all the help that they can get to get their name out so don't think that you're too in insignificant to work with a company that has a brick and mortar or even a website i mean you just would be surprised. You have to just reach out and see. And comment below if you guys have any ideas of what sort of brands people should be reaching out to to have influencer collaborations with. I mean, because I'm looking for ideas too. And some of the ways to reach out are simply walking into the business. Go into the store and ask them who their social media executive is, if they have a PR person, do they do any um, influencer collaborations? You never know, just walk in and ask some questions. You can send companies DMs on Instagram. If they have a Facebook, you can send them private messages. You could draft up a letter and make that letter specific to that brand and list all the things that you can do for that company and help them understand that you understand their value and that you want to push their brand forward so that more people can know that they exist. That's pretty freaking good. <laughs> And now on to my first sponsorship. So this video is sponsored by Julian's Cosmetics. And first of all, I wanna say a huge thank you to Julian's Cosmetics because I really appreciate that they wanted to work with me and that they invited me to an influencer event that they had. They're a small boutique style cosmetics and spa store that's located in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a really cute store. It's located in a shopping kind of area. So when you walk in, everybody, all the sales associates are really nice. They greet you. They have some great estheticians. They have big brands that you would know about. Becca, Kevin Aquan, Makeup Forever. And they're actually the only store in Atlanta that offers a pro discount on Makeup Forever. So if you're a makeup artist and you're in Atlanta, you should stop by because, I mean, it's just so easy to fill up your kit with the things that they have there. And on the spa side of it, they offer really great spa treatments. So you can get a hydro facial. They actually showed us that at the event. They had a hydro facial. They literally take a machine and suck out all the gunk in your pores and you get to see it. And then as you go back for future visits, the, the liquid should be more clear and then you know you're getting everything out and then you're beautiful. So, so you should try it. They do microderm, microderm planing? Microderm abrasion, okay. They do dirt, they do microderm plate. <laughs> Okay, wait. They do dermaplaning, they do microdermabrasion, they do tons of different services. So you should definitely check them out because you can see all the services that they offer. And it's just a really cute place and they make you feel really comfortable and everybody's really nice. So that's why I really like it. So the event that I was invited to was called Ready, Set, Spring. And it was the first influencer event that I'd ever been to. So I was really excited and actually a little bit nervous because I didn't know what to expect. I always was curious about these kind of events. What do you do as an influencer? Are they expecting certain things from you? What is it that they want? Julian's Cosmetics Plus Skin Care is launching their own line of cosmetics. So we were able to try out the brushes and the lashes. And I'm actually wearing lashes now for you guys today and I'm gonna show you some and some of the free stuff that I got too. But basically when I was there, I was just taking photos. They had a full uh, makeup tutorial with an artist there and then they did a Q&A. So you were able to ask questions as he was doing the makeup and test out the products and touch it and feel it and all that kind of stuff. And then of course, it's not said, but because you are an influencer, social media is a huge part of the process. So they want you to take pictures. They want you to um, shout them out in your stories and tag them in your posts and things like that. So that's kind of an unsaid expectation, 
but who is it on Instagram while you're at any event at any time anyway, you know what I mean? So that's what happened and it was really exciting to have food. They had a raffle on, oh my gosh, they had a raffle and I got close to my number so many times. The, the basket that they were raffling off had tons of like, luxury items and one of the items that i really really wanted was the nest candle i've wanted a nest candle for the longest time and i don't know why i'll just go out and buy one but it was free and i really wanted it so they did the raffle and they called i had like 566 and they did like 564 565 562 and i never got 566 so that was a bummer but it was a really fun event it was just a really good time so it was i say my first influencer event was a success so julian the owner of julian's cosmetics plus skincare gave us some really great swag bags so a few of the things that I got in my swag bag was a highlighter from Dermablend, I got a primer from Smashbox, and a lip pro a dual lip product, cheek product from Smashbox. And I also got two of the brushes that are part of the new line that Julian's Cosmetics Plus Skincare is carrying, the line that they're launching, the whole reason why the event happened, and a few of the lashes. The lashes didn't come in the swag bag, I actually got them at a different time, but they were still gifted to me from Julian's Cosmetics Plus Skincare, and I really love them. And to be honest, I was a little bit, um, hesitant because they do have a dark band and usually when I go for lashes I always get the same lashes I, I always get the same lashes I get wispies that have a clear lash band they're easy to, and flexible and quick easy for me to pop on these have a black lash band so I was a little intimidated that's what it really was I was intimidated because I don't usually work with lashes like that so I was like oh they're gonna be hard to put on they're gonna be really stiff and difficult but that really wasn't the case I'm wearing them now this the one I'm wearing is called the prissy lash and it's really comfortable I took my time with it like I would do any lash there was nothing different the only thing I did different with these than any of the other lashes that I usually wear was trim them and I actually like that better because you can customize them to fit your eye so if you have a little bit more more lash to work with if you want the lash to be a little bit shorter you can cut them of course you can cut them in half you can cut any lash in half if you just want to get the little um extra wing on the end but i was able to just cut a little bit of the front a little bit of the back of the lash and get the perfect fit for me so i really like that because everybody's eye shape is different these are really comfortable to wear they're not heavy i don't even feel them on my eyes right now so i would definitely recommend these lashes and i'm looking forward to trying the other styles out another thing i like about these lashes is that they're mink lashes they're made to be reused. A lot of the times I do reuse my drugstore lashes, but they really are a one and done type of thing. These are actually made to be reused. So with proper care, you can have these for quite a long time. I'm not exactly sure how long they will last, but if you're taking them off and cleaning them properly, you're gonna have them for a long time. They're not expensive, so you can change them out, get a few pairs, and they'll have you, you can buy a few pair of lashes and then they'll take you through the rest of the summer, you know what I mean? So I would really encourage you guys to try them out because they're way more comfortable than I expected. And if you guys need any tips on how to apply false lashes, I'm gonna put the video in the cards. I don't know if it'll be over here or in here, but look at the top of the screen. I'm gonna have the, the video running through and you can click that link. After this video is done and watch, the video on how I apply false lashes. So if you wanna try more lashes from Julian's Cosmetics Plus Skincare, you can visit their website. They have other things too. Like I said, they carry other brands like Becca, Makeup Forever, Smashbox. They have these brands that we all know about. I'm gonna link their website in the description bar and I'm also gonna leave my code down below. If you use my code that I'm also gonna leave in the description box, you guys get 10% off. And it also helps me out if you use my code because they get to track how many people I'm bringing to their wonderful website. And it really helps me a lot. And also, if you guys give this video a thumbs up, it lets YouTube know that people wanna see my content. It helps them push it to more people. It lets them see that more people wanna see me. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you wanna see more content like this and you wanna see my YouTube channel grow, I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe. And that's it, you guys. That's how I got my first sponsorship and that was my first influencer event. And I got my first legit coupon code that I'm sharing with you guys. So guys, remember, if you wanna get these sponsorship, if you wanna even reach out to these brands, start small. Go to your local shops and reach out and see who you can talk to to get these connections. And reach out to who you know, ask your friends if they work at any, find out if your friends work at any companies that you might wanna work with, things like that. Companies that you wouldn't may necessarily think about on a regular everyday basis, but companies that you know would be useful in your life. Companies that you would really shop with, companies that sell things that you would really use because then you're being honest and you can really, tell people about it in a in a way that's truthful you know i'm not gonna tell you guys about these lashes if i'm not gonna wear them i really do like them and i really do feel like they're comfortable so that's why i want to tell you guys about the things that i love and i know that you guys will like them too things like that like you want to make sure you're being honest about what you're sharing with people and also going to influence events going to events in general when you really are wanting to reach out when you really are wanting to expand 
who you know and network with other people, events are a really great way to do that. I get to share my YouTube channel with people. I mean, everybody's not gonna subscribe, but you never know. If you set your goal to, to leave that event with one new subscriber, you never know how many more subscribers you're gonna get. And people share your videos, and people tell other people about you. Word of mouth is really a huge thing, so it's important to stay connected and get connected and all those kind of things. I met other influencers and then you get to see what other people are doing. Maybe you have some ideas you want to share. You want to do collaborations with people. These are really great ways to get all those things off the ground. And the bottom line is you just never know what could happen from anything. So you just got to try. So I hope this video also encouraged you guys to just take the next step in whatever it is that you wanted to do as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to check out the description box to visit um, Julian's Cosmetics Plus Skin Care. Don't forget to use my coupon to get that temp my coupon code to get that 10% off. And thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.